Okay, the handshake is over and we're about to begin. Hometown Cable's first ever coverage of uh, high school girls flag football. Bateman Town Eagles being visited by the Northeastern Clinton Central School Cougars. Looks like they're going to introduce the two rosters, so we'll, we'll see when they'll stop playing the background music and get to work here. Our players are all ready. The clock's are set. 25 minute halves. It's running time for the uh, up until the two minute mark, and then you stop it on, uh, like you would a normal football game. Okay, they have lined up. The uh, uh, coaches are Kristen Patnode, Mike Boyer, Adam Cater, and manager Matty Arnold. 17 Cougars, and I think they were told 11 Eagles. This campus is a drug-free zone. We so we will uh, the learn the rules Thank as we go. Operation. First rule is that they're... Beekman Town Central School Let's get, get the lineups. ...to host the inaugural contest for both of these programs. We extend our appreciation to every athlete, supporter, coach, official, and administrator who made this historic occasion possible. Kendrick, we would sir. like to take a moment to introduce each player for both teams in recognition of this momentous event. All right. First, for the visiting Cougars. Number 10, Bailey LaFountain. Bailey LaFountain, there we go. Number 11, Kylie Supernod. Kylie Supernod. Uh, Number 12, Caitlin here. Johnston. Caitlin Johnston. Number 13, Brooke Misak. Brooke Misak. Number 14, Lexi Roberts. Lexi Roberts. Number 15, Quinn Jolliker. Quinn Jolliker. Number 17, Gia Capala. Gia Capala. Number 18, Caitlin Underwood. Caitlin Underwood. Number 19, Kirsten Seguin. Kristen Seguin. Number 20, Caitlin Cameron. Caitlin Number Cameron. Number 21, Cassidy DeRosha. Cassidy DeRosha. Number 22, Akisha Bouillet. Akisha Bouillet. Number 23, Desiree Dubois. Desiree Dubois, the only senior Number on the team. Number 24, Bryn Height. Bryn Height. Number 25, Emma Gay. Emma Gay. Number 27, Krista Siebert. Krista Siebert. And number 28, Kirsten Stahl. And Kirsten Stahl. The Cougars are coached by Kristen Patno, assisted by Mike Bouillet and Adam Cater. The team manager is Matty Arno. And now for your Bigman Town Eagles. Number one, Captain Cecilia Labarge. Cecilia Labarge. Number two, Jalen McDonald. Oh, no. There we go. Number three, Grace McCaslin. Number four, McCaslin. Jillian Hagenorn. Hagenorn. Number eight, Gabby Vassar. Gabby Vassar. Number nine, Madison Martineau. Madison Martineau. Number 11, Caitlin Allison. Caitlin Allison. Number 13, Peyton Parliament. Peyton Parliament. Number 15, Natalie Stone. Natalie number 21, Stone. Paige Eber. Paige and number 22, Eber. Captain Elizabeth Chapman. Elizabeth Chapman. The Eagles are coached by Thomas Catro. The officials for tonight's contest, the referee is Tom Daly, the line judge is Steve Marjorka, and the back judge is George Borey. We now ask that you please rise and remove your hats. Okay, the, uh, there's no kickoff, apparently. They just start with the ball at the 20-yard line. They, the field is only well, they're starting it at the 30-yard line, I guess. Touchdowns are at the 10 yard line. And the field is not as wide as the regular soccer field. Uh, flag football, so they must have grabbed their flag, I guess. If you see these markers right here, it's, uh, that's the uh, out of bounds, so that's a few yards. So that was the fountain carrying the ball. The clock keeps ticking. And we're going to kind of keep talking over that background music. I don't know why we need music here. When a, this isn't a hockey game. I'm trying to... Uh, what happens with music is it gets copyrighted and... We, oh, a, uh, all right. Uh, they have to get uh, 20 yards. They have to go from the 30 to the 50. It's not a 10-yard increase. Without the ball carrier, D flag on the play behind the line of scrimmage. Brings up third down and 15 for the Cougars. So it's third down and 15. We're at the 35-yard line. So they have to go 20 yards instead of the usual 10. 
they do get four downs they can punt there's the throw incomplete the clock keeps ticking though even though it's incomplete which is fine with me so it's going to be fourth fourth and 15 fourth and 15 so uh, we'll uh, see a punt here I am sure because you're not going to try for a 15 yard gain nobody can rush I guess on the punt the rules are different here than your regular football game here we go there's the, there's the punt nobody's back there to receive it so it's wherever it lands I guess so so they, <laughs> they do stop it on change of possessions apparently and we're at 22.45. So at the 39, 11 yards to the 50. So they got to go from the 10 to the 30, the 30 to the 50, the 50 to the 30, and the 50 to the 10. So, so. Eagles take over first down and 11. First and 11 at the 39. There's a pass incomplete. Incomplete, but the clock will keep on ticking. So it's going to be second down. So it may look like these players are encroaching on the field, but they are actually out of bounds. So a surprising number of Cougars went out for it with a brand new season. We've got us a first down right there. And as soon as she gets the first down, no, no, no. no they grab right the flag. Right. They flag it. They get flagged there. They flag there. So I don't, not sure. They guess all they have to do is grab the flag. Uh, don't have to pull it off. So it's third and no. So they stopped her, so it's third and 11, they said. That didn't uh, look like 11 to me. When he's trying to get to the 50. So it's fourth down and eight, so they corrected that. It was probably seven before. So here's the punt. Yeah, the punt is. Are they going to spot it where it landed? Right there, I guess. So that's where they spot it. Sixteen. So it's first and about sixteen because they're at the thirty-four yard line. Uh, we're trying to again talk over the music. Uh, this is a, a problem when you know music is copyrighted in YouTube. There's things that really didn't have anything to do with music but there was music in the background and they're blocked because of the copyrights on the music so I got to be very cautious uh, on the music so second 21 so I'm gonna have to shut off like I do at hockey games because people can't play sports without what well, I'm not sure what the whistle was for but it, it stopped the play so we'll shut off between plays because of the because of the music. Frustrating from my angle, but it is what it is. Whoa! Look out! Okay, 19:30 on the clock. Fourth down. Uh oh! What happened? What happened? I'm gonna lose it there because the the. They didn't uh, get to the uh, punter, so they, they lose it right there. Wow. You got to make sure <laughs> your punter gets the ball, even if they even if they got to get up uh, next, and on top of the on top of the center. So 19-17 on the change of possession. 
We're still First scoreless. 18. 18 for a goal. Second and twelve. Second and twelve. No. Yes, right. And there's a goal. No. What? What? No. They stopped her. They stopped her. Third and goal at the five-yard line. See if they stop her. If they'll go. They stopped her apparently. <laughs> I can't tell when there's a, a tackle. Okay. It looks like they're going to go for it at the six-yard line. And yeah, here's the. The pass, and what do we have? Somebody did something. What happened here? Encroachment. Is that still a five yard penalty? Yep. Ball start. Encroachment. Oh. So it's a call goes against the Eagles. <laughs> so they're going to back it up foul. five yards. Encroachment against the Eagles, five yard penalty brings up fourth and goal. With 11 yards to go. Fourth and goal, so there's no sense in punting it when you're this far back. So they'll try to score. So there's an encroachment call. Whoa! Got the flag. One of the advantages of getting it on the 25-yard line and the change of possession is it's just the five yards to the first down. And did she make it? Did she make it? Bailey LaFountain getting the first down is second and about 18. Person about 18, excuse me, and uh, she is deflagged. Okay, Cameron got gaining the ground. It's uh, second and 17. Clock ticking down to 15:40. So this is a novel game for both schools, according to what we heard. Oh. No, no interference. So it's now third and 17 on the incomplete pass. Nice catch and good block is flagged. Nice catch. It's a big target. All right, look out into Dubois. So it's fourth down and eight. So they're going to punt. <laughs> they don't have to kneel. They'd be wise to stand up. I'm going to modify the make Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. There's where I landed. You don't have to actually monitor it. As well as the Cougar puncher. The regulation tackle field. Interception. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Incomplete. Okay, second and 15. Second and 15 now to 13.40 in the first half. Third and fifteen. Oh. All right. Super. Jaden Parliament D flag on the line of scrimmage. Fourth and fifteen for the Eagles. So we're gonna have a punt. And <laughs> you want to make sure the punter gets it. And she gets it right there. Okay, although it's the 47-yard line, it's called the 37 because of the shorter field, and uh, it's first and three for the Cougars. And here we go. 
Quarterback of Love Houghton breaks through. And she's going to score. How about that? Their first touchdown ever in flag football. And it's Bailey LaFountain. I was wrong. She didn't make it. It's first and goal at the 10. Uh oh. So, the Cougar stop is fumbled for a loss of seven, brings up second down and 17. So, second down and whoop, 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 whoop. It's flag football. 15 on the play, third and goal for the Cougars. From the fountain picked up. 15 yards, third and two. Third and two. She's throwing for the pass to Dubois. Did she catch it? Well, Fountain to Dubois. What? What happened? What are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying? What is this? Okay, it is a touchdown. First one. The fountain to Dubois. 10-15 on the clock. So they can go for a one, two, or three, depending on where they start. One point conversion on the three yard line. What? what what happened here? Okay. <laughs> Did not get the extra point. Now oh, it's Beekman Town. And the tackle made by number twelve Johnston. <laughs> I don't know if Z does it on there on the punts. Let's go. Here we go. Second and 15. And Dubois makes the tackle. Okay, so it's third and 12. Nine minutes and 11 seconds to go. The clock ticking down. Third and 12. Or Beekman down. What happened? What happened? Something happened here. Okay. So it was a fault start. Incomplete. And they punt on the fourth and seventeen. We're down to eight twenty-eight. Okay, it went further than I thought. It's at the 31, which is which is 41 in the field, but 31 yard line. So they got to get to the 50, which is. Okay, it's second and nine. And they got to get to the 50, which is in their league, the 40. And see, Desiree Dubois makes the catch, and I lost the flag there, so you can see where the markers here, it says, it says 40 at the 50, and then it says 20 at the 30, and then 0 at the 10. Lafountain's pass is complete to number 23, Desiree Dubois. First down, Cougars across midfield. All right, first, Cougars will have it first and six. First and six at the 26, which is the 36. <laughs> Bailey Lafountain, Bailey Lafountain, look out, he is. Touchdown, Touchdown, Bailey La Fountain. Oh, oh, no, just before, so almost, almost. Check that one. I was looking at 
All right, it's second and one. Clock's ticking down to 624. <laughs> Evan Dubois is a target. It's very beneficial, but it still takes a, a good pass to get it to her. Okay, looking for the extra one extra point. It's 617 in the first. They lead 12 nothing. <clears throat> and the fountain gets it. So 13 nothing Cougars at the 617 mark. The one point conversion is good on the feet of Bailey LaFountain, and with six minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the first half, it's the Cougars of Northeastern Clinton 13 and the Beaver County Eagles 0. Okay. They're not punting, they're trying to run it. McDonald scrambles for a pickup of five. McDonald picks up five. Second and 15. Second and 15. 5.42 to go in the first half. You know it's a lot. shining on defense here. Look at that girl. She is like all over. Oh! Oh! Up here with a bunch of big, everybody here in Beatman Town fans. Height, height making the stop. Gotta go by the air. They can't run. Blitz, 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 blitz. You can't. Whoa. Oh! oh! Incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah. So the Cougars will get it. All right, first and 15 for the Cougars on the uh, 35, sometimes known as the 45. Uh oh, uh oh, flag to deep. It's a loss. So it's going to be second and 23 now. <clears throat> Intercepted, intercepted by 15 Labarge. Quinjolica, the center for the Cougars. Trailing 13 nothing. that's a big play for the Eagles. Third and seven at the 33. And we got a first down, nope, nope, <coughs> nope. Seabird again. Uh, Seabird, second and four for the Eagles. Well, Seabird to grab and flag on Parliament. So we got uh, under three now, and uh, second and fourth. What are they going to? What are they going to do here? Here we go. Again, I'm trying to talk through the music here. My God, she's wild. <laughs> Seabird, she wants those flags. You know what to get her for her birthday. All right, we're hoping that Bronson might be in the game for the Eagles. Intercepted. Intercepted by Dubois. All right. Third and fifteen. I was confused for a moment there. It was the scoreboard said third and fifteen, and obviously it was the first and fifteen. Yeah, here's the second and fifteen play now. Uh, the fountain, there we go, right there at the nine yard line. Or, yeah, nine yard line, I guess. Oh, it's the two minute warning. It was already two minute warning. breaks free from coverage for a first down, Cougars 
first and goal. First and goal at the 10. First and goal at the 10. Look like the 9 to me. But. Here we go. Oh, intercepted. Yeah. Whoever that is, we don't know. Was first and six, it's called for some reason. Incomplete. 52.3. As you can see, the players have a flag on each side, so all the defense has to do is grab one of those flags. There goes, there goes. Oh, yes, yeah, I got you. CC. Oh, Incoming. Fumble. Fully but surely, number 10 is Maggie Hagedorn. Maggie Hagedorn. Maggie Hagedorn. Yeah, All right. I was texting right now. Justin just called me. Like, Maggie Hagedorn is number 10. Down to 33 seconds. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Incomplete. I'd say put five minutes for half. Yes. Yeah, okay, it's second and 15, 28.6. Well, I, can't remember, I can't see where the ball was. <laughs> I glanced at the clock and the play was going. Okay, 20 seconds to go on the snap. Another incomplete. Part of this pass is incomplete. Brings up fourth down and four for the Eagles with 14.7 seconds remaining. Fourth and four. Oh, she's got it. it. And she caught it. Four seconds. Part of this pass is complete to number nine, right? Yeah. Nine, which is. No. Natalie Stone. <laughs> Parliament's pass is complete to number nine, Natalie Stone. Uh, First down for the Eagles. First and goal at the. First and goal. Ooh, that was close. She's in. No. No, she's not. Who got it? Somebody grabbed that flag. Somebody grabbed that flag. She didn't make it. Right. Uh, for some reason, they're not switching ends here, so it's a calm night. But if you had a windy night and one team was facing the oh, wind, oh, you, oh, you oh, switch oh, sides at the half because of uh, yeah. okay. because Still of uh, field conditions. And did she do it? Did they make it? First and goal right, Parliament gets 69 yards. It's uh, first and 11. 24 no. 10. 24-10. This could be the first ever Bateman Town touchdown in the history of flag football. Uh, um. Got it. Got it. No. No. Incomplete. They have the same choices. Okay. Oh, he said that. Okay. Uh, second and eleven, and the halftime switching sides thing is up to the team getting the ball. Intercepted. Dubois. Intercepted. Dubois. All right, it's first so and 20 at the, at the 30, which is the 10. And the pass is complete, and she is tackled by uh, McDonald. 22-12 in the second half. Oh, you better roll down. Flag deflagged by Martino. Another La Fountain to Dubois. 
Okay, so it's third and three. 21 and a half left in the game. Well, she right there, back here. First down. Right, right there. That's what's hard for us up there. Okay, that's where it's out. It was just where it was. No, it's not. Yeah, first down for the Cougars. We're at the 21 minute mark. Yeah, across the 40. Across the 40. Yeah. About the ball carrying the quarterback keeper. First down for Northeastern Lynn. With 13 yards to the line of game. It's okay. I don't remember that. Don't worry. Oh, 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 that's maybe a little. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, maybe she should be teaching Nate how to score about the ball. The bounce pass is incomplete to number 23, Desiree Dubois, intended for it. Brings up fourth down and 13. Fourth and 13, so we'll see a punt, I'm sure. 1942 and counting. Okay, there we go. They're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. With the lead, it's incomplete. Incomplete. LaBelle's pass is incomplete, intended for Dubois. Broken up by number nine, Natalie Stone. I will say this, it's less physical than soccer. That is true. Far more contact. Change of possession. LaBelle is for the Eagles. First and 20, at 10-33. Oh, it's uh, Caitlin Cameron, I think. Parliament deflagged by a diving Krista Siebert for a loss on the plate. It'll be second and 25. <laughs> it looks like the number was 27, not 20 on the, on the tackle. There's a first down. Oh, look. Oh. Excuse me, when he crossed that 50, I was thinking that was the first down, but that was the original line of scrimmage. So it's third and 13. Intercepted. We got 24. Height. Brent Height. Intercepted by number 24, Brent Height. Brent Height. After a substantial play on the interception, it'll be first and inches for the Cougars. First and inches. How many inches? 36. All right. First and 72 inches. First and two yards. Oh, heavy coverage. There you got her. LaFell with the ball carrier deep flagged by a flock of eagles. Whoa. I gotta pull that one out. I gotta Whoa. pull it out. Whoa. Pull that one. Okay. Second and two. Big stop right here. Quick stop. There we go. Oh, good coverage. Oh, it's complete. And it's caught by Jolliker. Good, good goal. First and goal at the 12-yard line for the Cougars. Again, they have to gain 20 yards. And the whole field is only 80 yards. So they play from the 10 to the 10. Oh, and oh, complete. The bound pass is broken up in the end zone. It'll be second and goal for the Cougars from the 12. 14 40. Second and goal. There's the snap. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, she's good. Somebody grabbed it. 
response of the play. Apparently she was not deflagged. Or they can replay it that way. Not reflagged. I will not deflagged, so upon further official review. Bad call takes the receiver was not a flagged on the go play. away from the Deflag. Cougars. Deflagged. That's no warning. No warning. The Cougars have the option to shot in big trouble. So they're at still at the five. There we go. Third and five. What happened here? Why would the she, the flag was inverted? Yeah, but yeah. yeah, but well, the Cougars oh, oh. incomplete. The balance pass is incomplete. It's headed for number fifteen, Quinn Jolliger. Moves up fourth down and goal from the five. Hmm. That's Fourth down, oh, incomplete, so the Beekman Town ball. Change of position. The Bells pass is incomplete, intended for Desiree Dubois. The Cougars turn it over on downs. Beekman Town will start first and 15. 15.06 on the restart. Nice catch, and she's got her tackle. That goes at 11, that would be Superna. Part of the pass is complete to Grace McCaslin. Game of about four on the play, brings it second down and 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, second down. Right there. Right there, she dropped the flag. That was Roberts, Lexi Roberts. So that was McCaslin. Uh, so that was McCaslin getting the uh, first down, fifteen. Ten forty. I think that was McCaslin with the game. Here's the first down. Uh, She's down. And first down. First down. Like the speed of this game. First and two. It's like a pitch clock. Wow. Oh, nice job. Nice job. 27. Hebert. Hebert. 27 again. 27. I was very excited for their touchdown. All right, second and six. <laughs> very diplomatic. You have. You still made it an event for both teams. Yeah, I really got to go first down. Oh, get back to I commend you on that wonderful experience. Yeah, you're right, 12. I'm five. <laughs> five. <laughs> I play a play. You didn't go by the scoreboard. First and 12. <laughs> 27. Oh, she man. What's the loss? <laughs> Second and 17 now. Oh! Incomplete. He's like TJ Watt on the Steelers. <laughs> what? Third and 17 with a 703. What's happening here? What happened? Okay. I didn't see where the ball was. Where well, was, was the ball? Yes, Part of this pass is incomplete. Intended for number nine, Natalie Stone. Fourth down and 17. Yeah, incomplete. <laughs> Didn't see where the ball went. So it's fourth and goal at the 17. So they're gonna give it a shot. If they score this. It's gonna really tighten the game up. All right. Oh, here we go. Nobody tried here, man. Complete. And we have a touchdown. Nobody. Nobody going after the goal. The, uh, the quarterback. Okay, it all depends where they go for the extra points. They're going far enough back that they're going for no, three points. There wasn't, wasn't a touchdown. There wasn't. He, he had a fourth down over there. What? Wait a minute now. I was saying it wasn't a touchdown. I'm not getting much communication from the uh, from the field here. Uh, officials are not. Communicating with the scoreboard. Upon further review, that was not a touchdown. It was called back for holding. 
The previous play was the fourth down play in which the Eagles turned it over on down. So Northeastern Clinton will have the ball. And with six, six minutes. minutes remaining in the second half, it's 13-0 at CCS. All right, so that was not a Bigman Town goal. And we got a first and ten for the Cougars. Trying to avoid that music. Oh, the fountain could go. Oh, the whoa, tackle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That legal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a first and goal at the 19. <laughs> Single touch ground. He did. I don't. Well, he. Well, oh, right. officials right there said it touched, touched the ground. I went to call it from up here, but they're right there in the field. Okay, second and twenty-five. Dubois. Twenty-five. Desiree Dubois passes complete to number 25, Emma Gay. Okay, it was Dubois to Gay. We got uh, 337 and counting. Third and 22. Fountain. LaFountain back. Oh! <laughs> Fourth and 22 at the three minute mark. The Bounds pass is picked off by number 10, Madison Martino. Her second interception today gives the ball to the Eagles and will take over first and Martino, about 18. All right, it's first and two on the snap. <clears throat> Again, I'm trying to avoid the music here. I would say it's a first down. It is. Mm -hmm. oh, Maybe some offsides there, but. Uh, All right, one fifty-two. They didn't stop for a two-minute warning. <laughs> Parliament's pass is complete to number three, Grace McCaslin. First down for the Eagles across the midfield. Mm -hmm. 135, we're going to have to wait till the music stopped. What's the yardage? Five. That's uh, 13 probably. Parliament is the ball carrier. Pick up a five on the ground. Room to second and five. <coughs> second and five. Oh. First and ten. Parliament. <coughs> Who just piled trees? <coughs> oh, girl. Gain a pretty decent yard. Yeah. It seems like as the season goes, it's going to be About 40 seconds to go Parliament. in the game. Oh. Incomplete. I'll stop the clock. Third and seven now. Parliament two. Is that it? Touchdown, Eagles! And there are no flags on the play. Thirty seconds to go. Uh, McCaslin, I guess, was the goal scorer from Parliament. Got it. No good. No good. Well, the two point main. conversion fails so with 30.8 seconds remaining in the second half. It's the Cougars of Northeastern Clinton 13 and the Eagles of Eagletown 6. 
All right. Time ticking down. Time's on the Cougar side. Eagles have to hope for a miracle. Cougars want to use as much time as they can. They down it. And unless the Eagles call a timeout, the uh, clock will keep ticking. So it looks like the Cougars are going to win it by a 13 to 6 margin. They defeat the Beekman Town Eagles in the first matchup ever for these two teams. Cougars win their first game, and the Eagles uh, end up on the losing side, but they both get on the scoreboard. So congratulations to everybody involved in this learning experience. Thanks for watching and supporting. Viewer-supported local television, hometown cable TV, worthy of your support. Thank you for watching.